A warm welcome. In this video, we would like to show you how to assemble the Bellytech Space Saving Cabinet Bed. Follow the assembly instructions carefully. The base is a prefabricated carcass built by a cabinet maker. Note the viewing direction as regards left and right. Start by fitting the lateral tracks to the side panels. It helps to use a template. Then fit the curved track section, starting with component B. Observe the measurement of 308 millimeters. Make sure you fit it flush with the rear edge. Fit component A. Ensure a minimum distance of 50 millimeters in the area of the cabinet top and make sure there is sufficient space to allow the chain to feed out. Pay attention to any cabling, such as for the cabinet lights or the like. The measurement may need to be increased. The gap between component A and the usable back panel space shouldn't exceed 10 millimeters. Screw the drive housing with the chain guide and the yellow marking to the left side panel and the other drive housing to the right side panel. Omit the screws provided for the limit stops. Attach component E. This is not included in the supply package. It needs to be 95 mm wide and 20 mm thick. The length depends on the width of the cabinet. Connect the electrical system. In other words, link up the control unit, the emergency lowering and the drives. If the hexagon rods are in misalignment with each other, connect the left drive to the control unit. The drive shaft can be suitably driven by pressing the emergency lowering button. Connect the protruding hexagon rods of the drives to the synchronous axis by pushing the couplings up to the mark. Connect the second drive. Hook up to the 220 volt main supply. Lay out the chain rack and push it manually up to just in front of the drive's gear wheel. Make sure that both chain ends locate identically and evenly. Important! It is absolutely imperative that both chain ends locate the gear wheels identically. Check the chain feed on either side. If it should happen that the chain ends feed in unevenly, you can only get the system to travel back by pressing the emergency lowering button. Now repeat the feed-in of the chains. The chain rack is retracted further using the drives. To do this, press buttons A and B on the hand switch simultaneously until roughly three quarters of the rack have retracted. Fasten the chain rack to the carriage.
attach the limit stops for retracting and extending the system to the left and right sides. Prepare the belt loops. Fasten the metal hooks to the carriage struts and the belt holders to component E. Allow the system to fully retract. The first run enables the electronic control unit to make adjustments. It is performed at a reduced speed and is referred to as a learning run. The chain is retracted using the hand switch. Press buttons A and B simultaneously and keep them pressed. The drives travel to the starting position and then shut off. The control unit emits an acoustic signal to confirm the learning run has been successfully completed. Allow the system to fully extend. Draw back the last element of the carriage as far as it will go. Tension the belts. Fasten the metal foot with rollers to the front panel. Fasten the front panel to the pushed-in drawer. There must be a gap of at least 15 millimeters between the attached panel and the floor. Extend the system fully. Insert the wooden sprung slats but omitting slats numbers 1, 4, 6, 11, 21 and 27. These are pushed into the fabric channels provided on the underside of the mattress. Fasten the mattress to the chain rack. Pay attention to the front edge. In other words, make sure that the mattress is in the correct position. In the front part of the mattress, there is a softer insert. Important! Both the hand switch for emergency lowering as well as the control unit must be placed where they are readily accessible. Many thanks. Have fun with our product.